got me. Can I take one of their weapons? Hang on, Sebastian. Almost there. All security personnel report to the stem room. I hope this works, Myra. Dang, that marksmanship. will only result in your death. You must know this. You have such potential. You could have amassed such power. And now you choose to throw it all away. Why? After all you've seen, all you've done, why the crisis of conscience now? Is it for the detective? Child. No. It's for me. Think about what you're doing, kid. STEM is needed. Imagine it. A unified consciousness for all mankind. No more wars. No more disparity. No more pain. Get that pistol ready. No going back now. I hope you were right, Myra. God, this last chapter is pretty long. Kidman, I've got her. Where do I go? Staying behind. You know why. Okay. We don't have much time. I'm counting oh. on you, I want to take the car. Come on, Lily. Don't worry, Lily. We're almost there. Tatiana awaits. Oh, hi. That's a, that's a big, big thing of concrete there. Big slab of concrete right in my face. It's not the first big thing I've taken to the face, but that's not the point. Tatiana! It's not too late to stop this kid. If you do, I promise to kill you quickly. Otherwise, the punishment for your betrayal will be legendary. I'm going to be legendary, all right. Legendary for taking you down! A world without choice isn't a utopia. A hive mind only works with a queen that controls it. Join us or die? Well, guess what? There's a third choice. And that's fuck you! You're foolish! Yes! <laughs> by the seat of 
my pants here? I took my ship out three days ago. No matter. You'll die today. One way or another. He's getting really angry. Get to the mirror, dude. Jump back, jump back. Okay, or not. Oh, come on. Why are you just carrying her to the mirror? Run to the mirror. Was that it? <laughs> Good times, you just missed it. Take it easy, Sebastian. You're safe now. Lily. Where's Lily? I need your help getting her out. Stand over there. God, how long has he been there? like a couple days probably if he's having trouble walking maybe a week or something I don't know No, Lily. I know that. You're awake now. The nightmare is over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. There really is, isn't it? Not still inside there. 
just thinking I'm... It really is over. Thanks to my luck. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, there's a child present. Don't be swearing. As I try to make my way to the ordinary world, I will learn to survive.
So you might be wondering, what was the point of me putting the entire song? Why didn't I just skip over it? Well, it's because, god damn it, that's a good fucking song. Um, so yeah, this has been The Evil Within 2. Uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. The ending could have used a lot more goddamn work. I felt Stefano, ironically enough, was the best built character out of them all. Like, even better than Sebastian. I would have taken, you know, depressed, like, grizzled alcoholic Sebastian over what the fuck we have now. Like, the, this, is, this isn't just depressed alcoholic Sebastian, this is like... I don't, I don't know, they try to make him seem more determined, but he somehow came off a little less than desirable. I don't know, I just really wanted to just deck him in the face after that after that first scene. The first scene in the game is the only scene where he's actually a badass. <clears throat> um, I did like the ghost lady parts, where, uh, not, not trying to be sexual in that piece, I like the the ghost pieces where she's following you around and she'll say your name or she'll say Sebastian's name and like hunts him down and shit. I love that. That was amazing. It was it was stressful. It was tense. Um, made me use my brain a lot, especially the uh, the room where you had to go through the doors and it would keep bringing you back to the same two rooms. I love that one. But, uh, yeah, Stefano, ironically enough, for, even for being the villain, was the best built character. Like, Father Theodore just felt just a poorly built character. I wish, I wish beyond anything else that Myra wasn't in this as much. Like, I know she barely got any screen time, but god fucking damn. They should have just had her stick with how they had her in the DLC. They had her as a bad, like, as an antagonist. And I know it doesn't really specifically state her morals or stuff like that, but they should have left her mysterious and antagonistic. To me, that would have made a much better story if she was the bad guy still. I didn't need the whole we're trying to stop Mobius plan. I didn't I didn't need any of that. Like the fall of Mobius, they can't where are they gonna go after this? Who's picking up the pieces now? Cause without Mobius we've lost our primary antagonist. And you know what's the point now? Like, who, who's gonna... Ruvik? Like, who's gonna be the antagonist now? Speaking of Ruvik, what the fuck? Where was any mention of Leslie or Ruvik? Like, at all. There, there was no mention of them. At all. In The Evil Within 2. Which pisses me off, because the first one ends on a cliffhanger where it's like, Oh, Leslie got out of stem. But the thing is, is it Leslie, or is it Ruvik inhabiting Leslie's body? You know? But no, in the second one, it's all about his saving his daughter? Like, that entire plot comes out of left fucking field. You would think they'd be trying to get Leslie back. But no, they're more concerned with other things. They've got a... A serial killer bent on revenge against them. But no, let's let's worry about the daughter. And the daughter thing did make a good story, but how they pulled it off, not so good. I could have done without Father Theodore and his whole torture porn bullshit. That would have been nice. Um, Kidman, I feel, had a better backstory this time around. But yeah, I'll I'll make a much more detailed video uh, after all this. But. Yeah, that was that was the evil within too.
Tonight I'm all alone. So how?